here we are with the TRX. Um, if you have one of these, great. It's a great thing to utilize for a little bit of more of an unstable surface while you're doing a pressing motion. If not, you can always do any of this stuff on the floor. Um, but we have the TRX, so we're going to show it this way. So, you know, quickly with the TRX, it's nice because I can adjust how difficult I make the exercise. So typically, I want to make the straps, you know, as long as they can go for this pressing motion. And then if I want to make it easier, I let myself be kind of angled a little more upward. So the more that my hands are upright, the easier it becomes. The more I walk my feet back, the more of a challenge, right? What's nice about this, or like you'll see people have those perfect push-up uh, things on the ground that rotate, is that it's nice as I go into my push-up that I can let my hands start to turn a little bit. So I try and make sure I kind of set myself up so I don't want to have my lower back falling into extension. I want my pelvis tucked underneath me. I want to make sure my shoulder blades are up towards my ears. And I might maintain just a slight tuck in my chin. Now as I come down into this position, I'm going to do it nice and slow and controlled. And as I come down, I want to make sure I keep the position of my lower back. And you'll notice my hands turn almost on to like a 45 degree angle. And I go as deep as comfortable. And the important point is that I go to press out of this position. I keep my butt tucked. And as I press, right, I kind of press trying to engage more of this lower area of my pec and chest, right? So just to go through it a couple times, I may start with palms down. And then as I come down slowly, they'll turn to that 45 degree angle, nice and slow and controlled. And then I go to initiate that press. I slowly press out of it. And at the top, I really try and push my shoulder blades all the way. So as I'm going through this pressing motion, right, my hands are kind of here to start, or out front. And then as I come down, I let them turn, and that allows my elbow to stay a little bit down towards my side. Because usually as I get tired, that elbow will want to flare out. I don't want to let that happen because that puts a lot of pressure on the top of the shoulder. So a little bit of that turn helps keep that elbow and shoulder blade down. And then as I press out, I push more from down here, right, as opposed to up here. Up here puts a lot more compression on the top of the shoulder. As I fatigue, I may start to do that. At that point, I probably want to stop. So a little bit of a downward press. And then as I get out here, I really want to make sure that my shoulder blades go all the way into that reach forward, right? It's not an up and forward. It's still a little bit of that downward position of the hand as I end the uh, pressing motion. 